Well, the emerging field of immunotherapy has potential to help fight cancer in some patients who had no other options after going through rounds of chemo and bone marrow transplants. And in today's Focus on Your Health, Dr. Frederick Locke from Moffitt Cancer Center joins us to discuss how they can use this to help patients. Good morning. Good morning, Carly. I'm so glad you're here and that we're talking about this because when it comes to cancer treatment, this is actually some good news that we're finding out in regards to immunotherapy, correct? Yeah, it is good news. Uh, we have have many immunotherapy clinical trials mm -hmm. running at Moffitt Cancer Center, and we know that the immune system can recognize cancers, yet cancers grow. And so these new treatments sort of reteach the immune system to attack the cancers and put patients in remission. And we recently reported clinical trial results of a multi-center clinical trial, national clinical trial, mm -hmm. testing out a new immunotherapy called CAR T-cell therapy. Now this therapy is for lymphoma patients who are without other options. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not responding to standard mm -hmm. chemotherapies. They really are at the end of the line. And by using this new treatment called CAR T-cell therapy, we were able to get patients into remission who had at best a one in four chance of responding to standard treatments. And now with this new treatment, an eight out of 10 or 80% of patients wow. are responding. And these, again, are lymphoma patients without other options. It's really an exciting new treatment. I'm sure in your career you've seen a lot. I mean, do you get excited about these results? Do, do things surprise you, you know, on a daily basis? Yeah, and it, what you're finding out about cancer? It, the results of this, this uh, treatment are really exciting. Um, again, these are patients without mm -hmm. hope. And so we're putting patients into remission and some patients remaining in remission for mm -hmm. many, many months. The way this therapy works is we remove T cells, immune system cells that normally fight infection from the patient's blood. We send them to a, a laboratory where they're reprogrammed and redirected against a single target on the surface of their lymphoma cells, and then we just infuse them back into the patient's blood where they go and find out, uh, find mm -hmm. the lymphoma cells, the cancer cells, and kill them. Wow. And, uh, How many treatments are, are we seeing these p patients typically take? I mean, is this a one-time thing? Do they come back every couple weeks? It's a one-time treatment, which is, which is really um, one of the nice things about this treatment. It's not without uh, side effects. I was just going to ask if there yeah, were side effects. Absolutely. Um, you know, the immune system, if you get the flu, you can have high fevers, low blood pressure, feel quite sick, mm -hmm. right? Well, imagine your immune system is attacking uh, cancer that's, mm -hmm. that's throughout the body. And so patients can have very high fevers that go on for days, low blood pressure. Mm -hmm. um, and in some cases, in a few cases, patients have died of this therapy uh, or died during this therapy, about 3% mm -hmm. of patients. So again, it's not a, a therapy that we take lightly, but these are patients without any other options. Is They're, this the future of where cancer treatment is? I mean, do you just see more of this going as we kind of uh, wrap up here? Yeah, so um, we think that, uh, you know, we're, we've seen great results in lymphoma, but we're testing out at Moffitt uh, many other uh, immunotherapies and okay. immune cell therapies for, for different cancers. And I think, you know, years down the road, we'll have uh, many more treatment options for, for our cancer patients. Well, I hope you come back and continue to bring good news. Again, I think we're all searching for this miracle answer of when can we stop cancer. And so we're so appreciative of doctors like you and teams like yours over at Moffitt uh, who are working hard to do that. So thank you so much for being here today. Absolutely. Thank you, Carly. If anyone has any questions, uh, there is the address, of course, the number to call. They have a great website. They're on social media. And again, thank you so much, doctor. We appreciate it. Thank you.